A 20-gram hummingbird with a wingspan of 30 centimeters requires about 130 watts per kilogram to hover. Unfortunately, it has a big heart to help with the job. They have these massive hearts relative to their body size. Up to 2% of their body weight is, is their heart. And it's, it's incredible and absolutely necessary to pump blood through this animal as it's going and for the rest of it to sustain and, and allow this incredible range of motion and speed of motion. The hummingbird's huge heart is proportionally larger than any other bird's. And by comparison, it's about four and a half times larger than an adult human's. The heart rate of the hummingbird usually sits around 500 beats per minute, which is insanely high relative to human heart beating at 60 or 80, you know, on average. Even more insane is that this bird's normal heart rate of 500 BPM can increase to 1,260 BPM during flight. It has the fastest beating heart of any bird in the animal kingdom. 1,260 beats per minute. I mean, it's just, it's just such an amazing thing. I mean, we're getting into the automotive engines of the animal kingdom. Our cars turn, you know, thousands of RPM. Essentially, the hummingbird's heart is now into that mechanical system kind of range. So it's more identifiable to me as an engineer as being something in the realms of mechanics rather than biology. Elite athletes hit maybe 200 beats per minute. So, you know, in flight, these are easily six, seven times the, the maximum rate of the human heartbeat. And, and even 200 times in a human is, it's extreme. It can only be maintained for, for very short periods of time. Whereas these hummingbirds are doing it all day long and during flight, so pretty amazing. Working in tandem with its fast heart rate is a turbo respiratory system. While our resting breathing rate is about six to 10 breaths a minute, theirs is 250. Imagine trying to take 250 breaths in a minute. It's just not even possible for us as humans. It's almost beyond comprehension that something can expand and contract its lungs that quickly. And during flight, their breath rate can increase to 400 times a minute. That dramatic increase just shows that they need a lot of oxygen to enter their body, to move through their muscles, to their organs, to have that energy. Comparatively, elite athletes can consume four milliliters of oxygen per gram of body weight per hour. A hummingbird can easily consume 10 times that amount, despite only being a fraction of our size. Hummingbirds are putting out insane amounts of energy, and they're also warm-blooded creatures. Warm-blooded creatures, like birds and mammals, need to maintain a constant body temperature. And hummingbirds are on such a metabolic knife edge that often they can't even last overnight without feeding. So while the sun is set and hummingbirds have to take a hiatus from feeding, they will often go into a torpor. A torpor is like a mini hibernation. Your heart rate slows down, their body temperature drops, and they just decrease energy to a lot of their main systems. It's like sleep times 100. And they'll allow their heart rate to slow down to you know, around 50 beats per minute. They'll allow their body temperature to go from being 35 degrees to drop all the way down to you know, 17 or whatever the, the surrounding night air is. Given its ferocious metabolism and the need to super sleep when it can't refuel several times an hour, one might think this little flying machine can't do long hauls. ruby throated hummingbirds will fly in a single shot over the Gulf of Mexico regularly, twice a year on their spring and fall migrations. And there's no recourse. If you're in the middle of a Gulf of Mexico and you get tired, there's nowhere to stop and rest. They do this in one shot. Think about a hummingbird flying over the Gulf of Mexico and it really puts it in perspective. <laughs> Again, it counts on its sugar diet and some metabolic gymnastics to pull this off. They'll almost double their body weight before migration. So, I mean, we think of this sugar as being something that's like easy come, easy go. Metabolically, they manage to put on a lot of it and then just it powers one flight. In a way, this highly advanced sugar battery is just getting started. The hummingbird is only 22 million years old, which is young in evolutionary terms. Often we think that when a species speciates, it's because it's found a niche in the environment to exploit. And it appears like for the hummingbirds that this is a, a successful strategy to go after this nectar in the flowers. They have relatively little competition from other birds for their food. 
and many flowers are reserved exclusively for hummingbirds. Flowers and hummingbirds have evolved together in these really specific ways. So the ability to hover in midair while you're feeding underneath a drooping columbine or trumpet vine flower is important. And those flowers also depend on those hummingbirds being able to do that because not a lot of other pollinators are able to hover in that way. So it's amazing that you know, this kind of evolutionary dance between flowers and hummingbirds has evolved to create just such an incredible creature. Currently, there are 338 species of this spectacular little bird. Luckily for us, it looks like we'll have many more in the future. A few different groups of species often have these rapid diversification events, and it appears like hummingbirds are in the midst of one of those as well. Often that indicates that they've struck upon a really great strategy for success. The hummingbird is undoubtedly a speed demon in its own unique way.